all right i said i was gonna be back youtube and i'm back um i had to do some updates on my computer but anyways this topic is kind of hard for me to talk about um i have a confession all right so back in april of this year i kind of had a lapse in judgment and i got involved with this married chick um I'm going to start from the beginning. I was over at my grandmother's house. This is before she got sick. Um, not really sick, but hurt herself at her job. Um, anyways, um, they, would, they lived down the street from my grandma's house. Well, they used to. They moved just recently because of everything that happened. Um, and... Our kids were playing together, and you know we was hanging out, you know doing a little party thing, whatever. And he went to sleep, and she just made a pass at me, and I was like just drunk, and just went ahead with it, just acted on impulse. Um, and it went on for like a couple of weeks and then like I kind of, it was getting to me, it was getting to me from like the first, the first moment, you know, that it started because I was like, you know, what about your child, da 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 you know, what about the situation, you know, she was in the closet, you know. To something I could relate to, and you know, it's no excuse for what I done or you know what she done or any of that. But um, I went against all my standards on that one, like all of them, and it really, it really opened my eyes because. Um, when he found out, cause I, you know, I told her, I was like, you need to tell him. I was like this, I was like, and you need to, you know, you need, I, I you know, I didn't expect, I didn't expect her to even leave him. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even expect her to end, end her relationship with him. Um, but at the same time, like, it was hard to stop doing what, you know, we was already doing, what we had already started. Um, just because I could relate to how um, closeted she feel, she felt. Um, but anyways, long story short, um, I ended up going on a camping trip with my grandmother and, you know, just getting away for a while. And they got a, like a five-mile trail up there. I went on that five-mile trail. It's, it's uphill, downhill. It's, it's a rough trail. <laughs> it's just dirt, straight dirt road, or straight dirt and rocks and trees and everything. I went out there, kind of collected myself, and you know, just kind of was like, I got to cut this off, I got to cut it off, like I don't feel good about myself, I don't feel good about the whole situation, you know, bottom line, this is wrong, it doesn't, you know, it's wrong how we going about it, it might be wrong, you know, for her, you know, for her to be married to him and, you know, be gay, but that's, you know, that's her, that's her decision, you know, that's her battle, that's not my battle. My battle, you know, was trying to help somebody who couldn't help themselves. I got real, you know, problem with that. Like, I want to help people that necessarily don't have the courage to help themselves. And you, you can't do that no matter how you, how much you want to. And I had to learn that again, 
the hard way. Um, and it, you know, it affected me pretty, pretty deeply. Like, I had stopped, you know, I had stopped smoking cigarettes and stuff, and I kind of went back to that as soon as, you know, this thing with me and her had started. I'm happy to say, you know, I stopped, stopped smoking them again because that's not me. I don't want to waste my money on that. I don't want to. I don't want to do that, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be in any situation where I'm stressing myself out. So I came back from the campgrounds, and you know, she was like, you know, I got to talk to you. So we was, she, she had both. We kind of both mutually decided that, you know, it wasn't working out. She was telling me that she wanted time, and you know, I told her like, I'm, you know, I'm done with it like completely I'm like we could be friends maybe you know if if you know your husband is willing to do that if not then you know I'll step out um obviously he ended up not being cool with that idea because I guess she still has feelings for me she's she's still been trying to call me and contact me and stuff but um I kind of just told her like I'm you know letting it go or whatever so, you know, my lesson, my lesson was um, just to remain, remain true to myself, and you know, kind of stop, just stop everything. I just kind of lost respect for myself right there, and it kind of had like a real, a real negative impact on my consciousness. Um, and I don't know, I mean, my friend told me I'm not the only person who ever slept with somebody who was married and stuff, but like, I mean, you can't judge a situation unless you was in it. And I know people gonna probably be writing some rough comments on here on this one, but you know, this it, it's real, this is real. Like that, that was my you know major mistake for, you know, 2010 is something that I evidently had to go through to learn, you know, what not to do. Because at first I was like, oh, you, you know, you marry him just because you had gotten pregnant, you know, blah, 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 you know, it's that type of, that type of deal. And her family isn't, you know, real supportive. Um background for her. I mean, she got some stable people in her life, but it's nothing It's nothing like what I have, and it kind of really made me appreciate my family even more. So, my lesson was really to be, to remain true to myself and to not, to, to recognize that, you know, I might find people in a hard situation that I may really, really, really want to help but can't, um, and I'm gonna just have to accept that instead of, you know, impulsively, you know, trying to throw myself into it and, you know, help her be free and express herself when, you know, we went all the wrong way about doing that. So, I mean, I'm kind of happy to report that she's She's, t she's, you know, updating me on the situation, telling me that she's working um, to get her, her funds up so that she can, she can get out um, and provide for her child and all that. Um, I, you know, I just told her, I was like, the only thing that I care about is for you to be happy on that, but I can't do it. I can't be there and I can't, you know, I can't be the one. It's hard to admit when you can't be the one for someone that is trying to latch on to you. But I learned I got to keep it real. So that's my confession. Um, Y'all stay tuned. I got a couple, couple other topics that I need to, to do. So, um, I'm going to see y'all. I'm going to see y'all.